Hey y'all, I'll be reacting to Listeners Episode 5, and I'll be sending my reaction to this in 1, 0, go. Funimation's logo, and in case you're wondering, I am watching it from my Funimation streaming account. Oh, okay. Hmm. All right, that's getting really, really interesting now. That's actually... Where are those some people actually want to code this fearless? Hmm. Huh. <laughs> I mean, I can understand... Oh! Y'all even got the mirror! <laughs> Holy. You know what? I'm actually really, really liking this. Now we're actually seeing... Whoa! <laughs> Okay, now this is looking really, really. Oh. <laughs> okay, then. Oh, uh, okay, I guess that was in the past. Hmm. But it's actually ri nice to see, though. At the very least, that's implying that the man that Mu and Echo are looking for might actually... There might actually be more to him than meets the eye that might actually consider coexisting with the earless for all you know. Hmm. But alright! It actually makes things really, really intriguing. <laughs> oh, the opening just keeps on bringing up more questions, though, when it comes to... So that mysterious white-haired man, though. Hmm. Wonder if he could potentially be the brother of... No. I mean, it's my guess. Could be completely wrong. <laughs> I wonder if we're gonna get some weird-ass dancing in this episode. Oh, boy. But who knows? It may actually be really, really fun. It could be really, really comedic. Hmm. <laughs> Oh no, though, I, I just hope that Echo takes less L's this episode because I'd say the last few episodes have been treating him like kind of like garbage, narratively. It's kind of been hard to take him a bit seriously in the last few episodes. I can only hope uh, this is the turnaround episode. I can only hope. Hmm. Alright. Uh, now it's back in the embrace of the bait. Hmm. I wonder how do you end up in prison though? <laughs> oh, never mind, it's not a prison. <laughs> She's gonna fit that pretty well to a T. Yeah. That's <laughs> that is specific. Oh, <laughs> sweet little new. Oh, okay, so that's how they're in that. And that's straight. Aw, but hey, at the very least, Moo actually sh It actually shows you how much he cares for Echo, so... <laughs> so it's actually really, really sweet. Even though the thing she ended up buying was a scam, it just shows you how much he cares with the effort she puts in. So I like little adorable sequences like that. Oh, Echo there. <laughs> uh, you can definitely tell there was some thirst from those eyes. Which, hey, if he takes a shot, be rooting for him. Hmm. 
Oh. Sexy life. When she's talking about sexy life, I mean, sexy life, I wonder if she means a life of... No, nah, probably a life of modeling. What am I... Oh! Ah, uh, we have like a level score now. <laughs> well, yeah, Muaz does kind of have a point. I kind of wish we would have had seen the sequence of her actually buying that thing for Echo, though. <laughs> oh, well. But it does feel a bit rushed, though. Okay, when the, are they all high? <laughs> oh man! Hmm. Uh, what is this? A strip joint? Kind of has. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, so it's pretty much phone sex. Oh. <laughs> you know, that's... Okay. Though, at the very least, it's better that than some of the other things my mom was concocting as to potential things. So, hooray? <laughs> okay, her English is pretty good. Oh, Yeah, actually, this is nice because Echo could actually utilize any this of this type of information to actually, hmm, to actually help him enhance any of the players' parts he works with. So that's actually good, in a way. Ah, oh, these two. Oh, <laughs> wait, it's <a> thicker though. <laughs> oh. At the very least, it was insane and not move. What the? Yo, I'd be like, dude. Back the fuck up if someone were to take my money like that. Are I actually gonna go to? Yeah. Why didn't the? Why didn't he just deck Marshall? Why? Why did the series continue making Echo into like a fucking figurative punching bag? But hey, maybe this could lead to something interesting. Potentially. Hopefully Echo doesn't do anything majorly stupid. <sighs> oh my. Hmm. You know, I love that dude's confidence and his swagger, too. Hmm. Although we all know that this probably has a lot of information on Jimmy.
question is if how much he's gonna he's gonna reveal if he even reveals anything though. Hmm. Huh. Oh, all right. It's actually nice to actually get this, get a feel for one of his motivations. At least. Oh boy. <laughs> The nail in the coffin, and just in the small amount of time, too. <laughs> Yo, isn't he, like, a bit too young to be going there, though? <laughs> that, that seems like a club where you need to be at least 18 plus or 21 plus in order to actually... Oh. It's gonna be Mel. <laughs> it's just talking though. It doesn't seem like it would have been anything more extreme though, but I like how uh, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. You know, this is actually nice. We actually get to see him. Relatively decent stakes. <laughs> oh man, I love that go forward attitude with Moo though. She always tries to like manipulate the narrative with her actions. Hmm. Hold. Okay. And you know what? I actually like that too because considering they actually that they actually took a loss like that, it's better they take these losses in a non-dramatic situation than in a situation where it's life and death. Whoa. <laughs> Now, these are the moments I like with Echo. This is what I like to see. Not the whole, I'm gonna just act like a dumbass and do some stupid shit or not pay attention to my surroundings, Echo. I like that, Echo. I wanna see more of that. Aww. I actually like how, in that sense of adversity, they're actually bonding with each other again. At least patching things up. And you can tell the physical distance that they kind of had earlier, it's being destroyed, so... I like that. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder what that could be. Huh. I 
I wonder what he can mean by that when it comes to face each other. Does it mean that... Okay, this... <laughs> He's really, really getting suspicious now. Woo! This guy is gonna... some nice swagger there and I even like how she complimented Echo when he was groveling too like just seeing these two actually build each other up emotionally it's always nice Now they realize they've seen Denka for quite a few times. Oh! <laughs> Man, with the screams, some of them sound like they're ready to be throwing their panties at Denka. <laughs> Yeesh. Hmm. Actually nice too, a nice contrast from the previous battles because when they fought in the past, it was mostly just Mu taking the initiative in fights. It's actually nice to see these two actually strategize in the heat of combat. Oh! <laughs> yes! Damn. <laughs> that was way quicker than I was expecting, though. And yeah, Marshall does kind of deserve a beating, though. I'm assuming Jimmy's sister, is that what Denko was about to say? That's, that's gonna be my guess. <laughs> what the? Well, it's a basic chance of just, whoa! <laughs> I wonder if it's because, um, because Enka actually jacked in, or and it could be ready into that. Hmm. You know, that kind of sounds like a Mrs. Hudson from... From Kabukicho Sherlock. And I gotta admit, the visuals here are pretty nice. When it comes to the light effects. Finally! Hmm. 
it's probably... I'm assuming this is when shit hit the fan and when everything went south. Oh. So that explains why things went south at that moment then. With so many different motivations, yeah. Shit was gonna be bound to, to go haywire. And it's finally nice to you finally get the mindset of Jimmy too. Okay, that Okay, that pretty much nine nine point nine 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 percent confirms that Jimmy is Moo's brother. Has to be it. Oh. Okay, so I guess that kind of confirms that Jimmy wasn't a bad guy then. That's... Hmm. Oh. Okay then. Finally! <laughs> actually, Kid Will was pretty nice and pretty badass. I actually liked the moments with him. Hmm. Oh. Alright, I actually really dug this episode. It's a nice return to form, and I'm gonna rate this one a straight up an 8 out of 10. Kind of can't give any. Oh, yeah, I'm actually gonna enjoy the ED. It'll actually. It's pretty nice. Has its nice swaggerific flair to it. <laughs> and the music is pretty lit, too. Da, da. <laughs> Speaking of which, the, the only thing that I wish they could have expanded was the uh, Moo and Echo fight scene against those, the Wendy and the other chick. Felt it was kind of a bit rushed when it came to that, considering they were hyped up to be undefeated. But I'd say other than that, not what the episode had for the most part. Except for what they did with Echo at the start, but, hey. For the most part, everything was well done. Alright, I like its creativity. Na 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 na. And you know, the music here is really, really good too. Oh my. Ah, looks like there's no Jimmy. But hey, this red haired dude looks. Oh my. Oh boy. <laughs> it is looking really, really, really good now. Hell yeah. Alright. Actually digging what the PV for the next episode has. It looks pretty dang awesome. Now, as for what I'm going to rate this specific episode, I'm going to rate it, yeah, an 8 point. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to rate an 8.5 out of 10 because on just further thinking about it, I thought they did a relatively decent job and actually, for one, 
giving us a lot more background information on Jimmy in regards to what will what are his goals? And at least now we found out it was coexistence between the humans and the earless. So I will give you credit for that. Narratively speaking, at least now we know some of what went down before the start in the series and why things went really, really, really terrible. So I actually like that. And then on top of that, from a story standpoint, it was relatively entertaining. There were some nice comedic sequences. Like when Echo was getting on move for spending money recklessly, and I like how they kind of had a temporarily conflict, but then afterwards, those two got it together, and everything was relatively back to normal. And I like that because had their relationship pit been picture perfect from the start, it'd be kind of unrealistic. And the only weakness was again they kind of made Echo dumb when he lost the money to Marshall. I'm like, really? Are they really gonna continue making Echo? Dumb. I hope not. I mean, that part where he was begging was good. Hope we get to see more moments like that in future episodes. But that's why it, this episode is an 8.5, not a 9 out of 10. But I'd say overall, still like what I got. And these are my thoughts on the episode, everyone. Be sure to comment on your thoughts on how I feel about more action or the episode itself in the comment section below. Rate the bid, share it, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys later if you come back for more. Because I'm definitely pumped up for the next episode. And have a great and safe day, everyone. Bye-bye.